Her costume totally is impractical. But really, when has that ever stopped Hideo Kojima from designing a character? What up, YouTube? This is Nate, Movember's very own the Duke Chain Killer. And today, I finally get to unbox my Kotobukiya Sniper Wolf statue. Woo! I'm excited. I've had this statue now for like almost a year and I haven't unboxed it yet because I've been meaning to do like this on camera. It's just your basic window box display in the front here. The beautiful looking PVC statue. Oh, it looks good. I might be a little bit biased. And you get the Shunya Yamshira art over here. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce his name. Most people, North Americans will call him Shunya Yamashita. I don't think that's correct. Anyways, he is the designer of this Bishoju line, which in Japan apparently means loosely beautiful girl. That's the theme of the whole thing. On the side here, you get the upper profile, uh, the art that the statue is actually based on. Side window panel at the top. Whoop. Another window panel. On, the f on this side, you get a full profile picture. Damn, that art looks really cool, actually. On the back. Most people kind of just glance over this part of the back, but read this text here. It's like Sniper Wolf wears her iconic customized green and black uniform that is opened at the chest. And her yellow slash green hair flows down around her beautiful Bishoju style face. Very sensual, you know what I mean? And then you get the front and back product view of... Sniper Wolf, and on the side here, it kind of goes into the detail of the, what the whole line is about. And again, on the back, it says here, arranged by Shunya Yamshira. I love this logo here at the top right-hand corner, actually. Every time I see the Metal Gear Solid, it brings back chills, because nostalgia, basically. Look over here, Metal Gear. It's one of my favorite game franchises of all time. So this statue, woo, I was very happy to uh, see it at the local comic book store. Sorry, at, at the bottom, all that Japanese stuff that you can't read. I was going to use this knife to open it, because I thought it was fitting. This is still sealed, actually, but at the top here, the sticker seal is broken. Since the option was made for us, we can't open it from the bottom, so let's just open it from the top. Nice. It's like a trademark on this channel. The inside just has camo. If I had to give a grade on the packaging, though, Kotobukiya packaging, 10 out of 10, man. Look at that art. That's very uh, interesting in there. Look at that. Yep, all right. I honestly don't know what kind of rifle this is. It's some sort of sniper rifle with a scope. Kind of light plastic, but I mean, that's not uncommon for Kotobukiya PVC statues. You get the ammo box. Like, if you actually look at the detail work inside this box, it looks green. I don't know if the camera could pick it up, but there's like hints of metal coming through as if the weathering on the paint is exposing the bare metal really nice craftsmanship there this thing i thought looked really cool in the picture actually apparently this is the crate that she's going to be sitting on there you see a recess there for her thigh i'm assuming cute little cub wolf there and i think that's a really nice touch there it's kind of hollow on the inside kind of feels very light well, there you go full 360 of the box i guess now this at least has a little bit of weight to it, not too bad. Pretty dense, but looking at this, you're like, my God. After months of opening Diamond Select PVC statues, I'm like trained to look for paint defects and like quality control issues, but Kotobukiya, God dang, does not disappoint. I showed you that earlier, that's for her thigh sits, just like that. I'm assuming this ammo box goes under her foot, like so. And we're supposed to rest this gun on the table and just like that. Hey! My initial impression is goddamn. Pretty good, pretty good PVC statue. Oh, so when you're looking at the design of the PVC statue, I guess I'm automatically grading Shunya Yamshira because he's the one who designed this, he's the one who drew it out and inspired the actual statue piece itself. All the decisions that he made in designing the character, it just really shows his mastery. It is more of a seductive type statue, yes, so her pose does suggest that. 
her costume totally is impractical. But really, when has that ever stopped Hideo Kojima from designing a character? That's my girl. The design choice to add that little cub in the corner of the box kind of breaking through, like she, he was being, he or she, whatever the cub is, is breaking through the crate. I think that was a really cool detail to put in there. I like that. It kind of pays homage to the game. And looking at her sitting on the crate, putting her foot on an ammo box, it really goes to show that Mr. Yamshida is thinking on a different level when he's designing characters. He's using these props that really do fit with the character. Because in, in essence, when I'm looking at the design of this, that's what I'm thinking is that whoever designed this really is a master. The only thing I'm kind of questioning here is the design choice to have that rifle and that ammo box kind of sitting on the table, right? So whatever you're going to display it on, you're just hoping it's a flat surface. It's not essentially connected to the piece. There are props that are kind of loose. And a part of me does not like that, but a very small, insignificant part of me. If there's a statue, I kind of really do like to have the base that contains everything on top of it. This one, it almost borders on like an action figure look on the shelf. <laughs> Believe it or not, this was sculpted by somebody. I'm gonna call him Takaboku Boshima. So in essence, what I'm judging is you're taking Shania Yamshida's artwork and translating it into a 3D sculpt. And I think it turned out perfect. <laughs> if you're a sculptor, and you're just really good at sculpting, this is almost what you pray for is to have a master like Shinya Yamshira design something for you and then you just sculpt it and it makes your work look a hundred times better. I love all the sculpted details in this piece. I love the that jacket with the zipper open. That looks really nice. Nothing really looks out of place when I'm looking at the sculpt work. So to me, that's like an A+. I don't see any errors there. I have a daughter, man, so I don't want to discuss it. The chest part looks very well sculpted. What's his name again? Oh, cool. Very nice, Takaboku. A plus sculpt work. Perfect. Again, sorry if I'm butchering people's names. Great. Paint application, finishing touches, quality control. Kotobukiya slays it all the freaking time. That's what Kotobukiya really prides themselves on is top-notch craftsmanship. You would think this was painted by a computer because it probably was. You don't get those issues that I've had on other statues with overspray, bleeding. It, it's perfect. Like look at the paint application on the skin tone. Kotobukiya has some sort of technique where it's very subtle. You get the different hues in the skin and it's just pulled off perfectly. I, I pointed out the paint on the ammo container where there's just a hint of the weathering. They don't go overboard with it. Very nice touches there. It almost looks like that the hair is one color. But if you look close, there's just a nice subtle hint of darkness in the back of the hair where the shadow would be. I love stuff like that. That stuff is amazing. They must have used decal work around the eyes because Kotobukiya, for a part that is super precise, it's never messed up. So I'm pretty sure that's stencil work or decal work around the eyes. But, but just looking at the paintwork overall, everything just marries together very well. And Kotobukiya slaying it with the craftsmanship. That's what we're going to call this part of the judging craftsmanship perfect and the last thing i like to discuss on this channel is value for people who know i am the thrift dweller original me and lester actually or lester and i and value is very important to me kotobukiya locally what i've noticed is that i'm not sure what the actual manufacturer's suggested retail price is however i do know the prices of kotobukiya have really gone up ever since i started talking about it correlation I don't think so but my local comic book store has really upped the premium on them these statues at my local comic book store are going for about a hundred dollars Canadian the comparison I'm gonna make is with the diamond select PVC statue from their gallery line you're paying for that craftsmanship you're paying for an exquisite piece so at the end of the day the price is gonna be more but I think it is absolutely worth it sometimes I feel like my local comic book stores here in the city are gouging it a little bit but I understand they have to make a profit to stay alive it's hard to have a comic book store in 2017 at the end of the day I think you can rest assured that the piece that you purchased from Kotobukiya is gonna be well made well crafted well designed and for some people that's priceless for me it's about 85 percent <laughs> Again, note the bonus I gave it for the packaging I thought was really good. And the design of this I think deserves an extra point or two. Shunya Yamshira is a master. You know, not just because he can draw up a shoju style really well, but it, the design and the choices that he makes. Thank you very much for watching this channel. I hate this mustache. It tickles me when I talk. 
Like when I smile, I got big cheeks. And when I smile, my mustache pokes it. Ah. <sighs>